The space has been cleared on the countertop and the time has come to open up the brand new Cookology countertop dishwasher that's just arrived at my house today. Is it heavy? It is a bit heavy. Is it? Can you give me a hand on this? Oh, you're just going to do it, are you? There you go. Stop being such a wimp. Thank you, Izzy. Right, I'm going to get it open. I declare the dishwasher officially open. Have I got this up the wrong way? Oh, oh I can see plumbing. Oh. Oh, that's the bottom. Look, he's, uh, he's given it to me on this side. This is how he dropped it off. So, right, well, let's see. Why is that wet? That is wet. Just mm, slightly nerve-wracking. Oh, well, here it is. Look. It is wet. Why is there wet? <laughs> Should I be worried? Um, it's like a bit of wood wrapped in. Is that packaging? Or is that part of the thing? I'd imagine that's just packing. I'm going to put that to one side for now. Right, well, let's get this off then. Whoa, look at it. <gasps> look at it. Why is it wet? Uh... Oh, I don't even know how to open it. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe they've been testing it out. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't it cute? But will it work? Can I get it working? Oh, I'm rubbish at this kind of thing, so. Oh, that was a bit of a screechy noise. Huh? I'm gonna try and get that up there. <laughs> Maybe sometime. I'm not very strong. I've asked Izzy to help me. Oh, you think it's gonna go under? I don't think it's gonna quite go under, so it's gonna go next to it right here. Oh, look, it's beautiful. I've just removed a few more bits of sort of foam in that. Right, let's cut that. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm just rather hoping I'm gonna be able to get it to work. I'm a bit dubious. I'm gonna sit down with the instructions in a minute. I've got a funnel thing. I wonder if that's for putting the detergent in. Maybe. Oh, oh yeah. Right, without any further ado, because I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to turn the camera off, read the instructions, figure out what I'm doing, and then I'm going to show you how we set it up. Apparently I need dishwasher salt, not any ordinary salt, but proper dishwasher salt to put in this thing in the back. Hang on, I'll show you. In there, apparently, you have to fill it up with about a kilogram of salt, it said, before you can start. So I haven't got any, so I'm just going to nip out quick before the shop's shut and go and get some now, and then I'll be back. I'm back, and look, I've got ugh, two kilos of finished dishwasher salt. That's heavy, that is. I have hit a little bit of a snag, so I thought I was going to skip ahead quickly whilst just looking at the booklet to see about the actual adapter to the tap itself, because I was planning to go directly from the tap just as a short-term measure. But anyway, this is the end of the, you know, the water outlet pipe or whatever you call that thing. This is the end of this that I bought the other day. There's no way that's going to fit. It's the wrong connector. So yeah, I went back armed with this to see if I could find something that could either connect to this to that or something that would go directly from the tap to that and I didn't really. But I did meet a chap who was a plumber and he gave me a very quick explanation of how to cut the end off here, stick that on there, heat it up over the gas hob to get it all to seal. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want to try that, but they do sell these leads in my local shop, so I could give it a go. This is not what I had in mind. I had in mind it would plug straight into the tap and work. This is absolutely not how I expected this video to turn out. Anyway, I hacksawed the end off. <laughs> And I've just wedged that on actually, and I did heat it up over my gas ring. I'm not recommending you do that really. Uh, anyway, yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, honestly. Um, right, there's the other end of that. Oh, I have no idea. Well, at least it's the tap end, so if it comes squirting out, at least it'll be over the sink. I can't believe this is going to work. <laughs> I think it's... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. 
Should I put it on the tap and see what happens? If this works, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> right, let's give this a little test run anyway without it being plugged in. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing? At least the other end should work anyway. <laughs> Yet. It's not dribbling out yet. That's looking suspiciously okay. I guess it's the same theory as what I did with my hose pipe out the back, and that's never leaked. So, oh well, fingers crossed. And here's my cutting bay. <laughs> I, I don't really have a decent knife, but I found my standing knife. It was in the cutlery drawer all along, right at the back. That's blunt. That's knackered. The really old things I found. It says simply to screw the other end just on there, uh, which is something I've never done. But uh, I could have a go, I suppose. Am I doing that the wrong way? Oh no, it's going in. I'm gonna be so scared running this the first time. <laughs> I'm gonna be expecting it to come squirting all out everywhere. Oh dear. I know nothing about plumbing. Right, well that seems to be as tight as I can do it with my hand. So I presume that's right. Well, this is the draining hose, so for now, this is just going to go in my sink. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to have to have a little think about how to do that. It's a bit unruly at the moment. I suppose I probably want to, I don't know, attach a weight to it or something so it does, doesn't come, you know, suddenly snaking around, writhing around and um, squirting water everywhere. Let me just have a think about what to do and I'll show you what I did. <laughs> this is a temporary measure. I've just elastic banded it to a cup of water for now. Just to stop it flying around, I'm sure you'll think of something better than that. I think I'm ready to do the insidey preparing stuff now. So I've basically, let's just recap, I've plumbed the water in, <laughs> in a kind of botchy way. Um, I've got the drain pipe pointing down there, so hopefully it's not going to come up. And the next thing apparently is to put the salt in, which is in here, apparently. To unscrew it. Oh, there we are. I thought that was going to need a screwdriver because there's a screw on there, but it wasn't. It just came by hand. Now apparently I need to put a kilogram in. That's a two kilogram packet. This funnel is supplied with the dishwasher and you basically sit it on there and use it to tip in the salt. Oh my gosh, it's coming out the top. Well, that's as much as wants to go in, so I think I'm just going to stop there with that. I gave it a bit of a stir with a pencil and I managed to get some more in, but I'm sure it doesn't need to be exactly a kilo. It's probably one of those things that you just you fill it up to the top, you know, when you fill it up. Oh, there we are. Look, it only said about a kilo of dishwasher salt anyway. Right, what's next? Before the first wash, fill the salt container to its maximum limit with water. It is normal for a small amount of water to come out of the salt container. That must mean in with the salt, because that literally came after the previous instruction to fill it with salt. Okay, and then after filling the container, screw back the cap tightly. Right, well, I've done that in the wrong order. Let's get that cap back out then. Oh, I have to take the thing off the tap now. <laughs> That's the problem. I might just take it off until it's time to use it, to be honest. It's funny when you're not used to things, isn't it? I find I'm all clumsy with stuff. And also I find it really weird just blindly following instructions. Oh, there's quite a strong smell coming out of there. We're nearing the top. Oops. Slightly overdid that one. Now the top's going on. It'll all be worth it in the end. It'll all be worth it. When that there lights up, it means you need to top the salts up again, apparently. I think I might be pretty much ready to go, you know. Oh my gosh, this is the test now. Look, the tap is on full. Okay, it's not squirting out. It's not like, oh, it twitched. I'm so not confident about that, <laughs> that botch job. Right, I'm gonna follow these instructions. Ah! No! <laughs> it came off. <laughs> Camera's okay. Oh 
my gosh, I was trying to work out what this dripping noise was. And I was like, where is that dripping coming from? It's like one big drip occasionally. Yep, yeah, that'll be the ceiling. <laughs> it must have squirted all the way up there. <laughs> oh no. I can see me having to get a plumber in to just do this properly, you know. Dear. But at least it didn't go on the light fittings. I think it's because I had it switched on with the tap on full whilst just trying to read those complicated instructions and faffing around with the camera. So I'm wondering if I need to just do that quickly without trying to film it a minute because I think that extra bit of time of having it turned on full with it not actually in use might have made the difference. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Right, it's back on. Just to note, it wasn't my... Um, gas hob and Stanley knife botch job join that went it literally it just came off the tap so maybe I should just make sure to do it as tight as I can next time well it turns out I just can't figure out the water hardness thingy at the moment so I'm skipping on I'm just going to leave it to the default setting which is in the middle somewhere actually my area has really soft water and I looked that up on my waterboard website just now but I had a feeling it was now this is for the rinse aid that is the lock position but you basically do that to get it out and then you put your rinse aid in. I bought some today, as you can see. It says that a light comes on, apparently by there, the light comes on if you need to top it up. So, oh, and it says, don't ever let it get less than a quarter full. So let's have a go, oops, oh, it's very runny, ah. Is that enough? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how much to put in. It uh, said, of course, don't put anything else in, you know, that you're not supposed to put in there. Definitely not washing up liquid. <laughs> so I once found out in an Airbnb. I'm just guessing that's enough. <laughs> Possibly too much, but anyway. Right. It's considerably later now. I've been cooking my dinner over there and um, I'm going to try and run this dishwasher now. Now there's a rapid wash, which is 30 minutes. So I'm going to start with that one. I am so apprehensive that it's just going to pop off the tap. So anyway, for better or for worse, this might not be the wisest thing, but I'm going to put it on the 30 minute one now, just before we sit down to dinner, because if it pops off, I'll be down here and I'll be able to run over and turn the tap off. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, but I'm not going to film it because it takes so long to mess around with the camera that I don't know, pressure could be building up in the hose and I'll, t I'll just tell you what happened. <laughs> okay, the quick answer is, and the wet appearance of me might give you an indication that it just popped straight off this time, straight off. So, <sighs> it's not worked. I tightened that thing as absolutely tight as I could. So my... My botch hold has held, that's still there. Oh, that was just so tight and it's just shot straight off. But it was wet, you know? It was wet when it went on, so that probably helped it to be extra slippy, didn't it? Oh, wow. Uh, I'm gonna have to get everything back out and wash it by hand, I think. It's not starting well. Let's just put it that way. Oh! <laughs> okay, that didn't work. I was about to say, I was trying it with the tap not turned on so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all splattered. At least it didn't go up there that time. <sighs> I think I'm getting resigned to having to have a plumber. It's two days later now. I have since had a plumber around to have a look at this, the one that I met in the shop, by the way. Anyway, he, uh, he put it on and it worked. No problem. He just did it up tighter than me. And also, I didn't push the thing full onto the tap because I thought it might block it. But he said, no, you do push it all the way up. So he is going to come back and plumb it in for me properly early next week when he has a slot. But in the meantime, I'm going to give it another go now. I haven't used it since he was here yesterday. We ran the 30 minute load while he was here and he waited and till it was done and it just it went all the way through no problems there was nothing in the dishwasher because I wasn't expecting to do it so I've still been having to wash my dishes by hand but it's full of dirty crockery now so this now I know that once it's gone on if I do another six twists with that you know well half twists 180 degrees if I do that six times it'll be the same tightness that it was so I'm really hoping that if I do that and then some it should be tight enough 
So wish me luck. This is what I'm going to try. Okay, it's on as absolutely tight as I can go. Six twists and then a little tiny bit more. That's ready to go on program six. I'm going to turn that tap on, switch that on and beat a hasty retreat and see what happens. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Just do it in the gym. <laughs> please work, please work, please work. If it worked for him, it should work for me. I'm a bit worried about the camera. He says I can't wreck the dishwasher by the water being cut off while it's running. So what if it does go? The last time I was really worried I was gonna break the dishwasher. But it's working okay now, isn't it? <gasps> okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's only, it's only the dishwasher making noise. <laughs> right, I'm just, I'm gonna hang around downstairs for half now in case it comes off. And then I'll just, we'll have a look and see what happens. I'll tell you what happens. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Half an hour later and it's finished. I ran over, it started beeping. It goes beep, 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 like that when it's finished. So I ran over quick and turned the tap off in my terror that it would just, I don't know, build up and explode or something. <laughs> I don't know if that was actually necessary or not. But anyway, I did turn it off. As you can see, it's still attached. It did not do its thing. So it really was, in the case of this particular attachment from Wilco's, it was just a case of doing it up really, really tight, tighter than I could easily do. Um, anyway, right. Nothing was really heavily soiled because obviously you're supposed to rinse it anyway. Oh my God. What was that noise? <laughs> anyway, right. <laughs> Don't know what that was, but here it is. Look. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it's not really dry looking, is it? And they're supposed to, you know, come out dry as well. Or is that something else? <laughs> it's very wet and drippy, but anyway, it's clean. I mean, I didn't need it to be dry anyway, because I can just leave it like that for a bit and it will dry, won't it? This was the 30 minute rapid cycle, mind. It might be that the other cycles um, don't do that. By the way, my big plates, they don't really fit in. I couldn't go in a vertical position. It has to be on a slight slant to fit in. A bit, you know, disappointing for a dishwasher <laughs> you'd think you'd be able to get plates in it but anyway there we are it's done it the plates look pretty clean it's just a Wilco's dishwashing tablet I had it on the rapid one and that's the one that, that doesn't say drying all the other ones say that they dry as well so once I'm more confident with it and it's plumbed in I probably will put it on one that dries so there we have it we have concluded that it works you can run it off a tap but be prepared for it to come flying off if you don't quite get the right attachment. Now, a lot of taps, apparently they've got like, you take the diffuser off and there's a screw kind of thingy, in which case it would have been so much more simple, but I didn't have that with mine, which is why I had to go through all this paraphernalia. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, could you please give it a like? It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here, well, I'm normally a daily vlogging channel. I don't normally do reviews and unboxings, but I do occasionally when they pop up in my normal life. So that's when I do them. But if you'd like to follow more of my life and my daughter's life, do feel free to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.